Good morning, it's Mr. Mice Guy, and uh, today we have a, another video of my pups who are half show mouse. Um, the mother still doesn't have a name. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I can't come up with a name for this mouse, but I haven't been able to. I was thinking like Charlotte or like Tina or Tiffany <laughs> or something. <laughs> I don't know. I like funny names, but for some reason, I just can't think of anything funny for this mouse. But anyways. <clears throat> Here they are. They are uh, about day 17 now. They were born on March 30th. Um, so these guys are half show mouse. They do have some wild ancestry. So it's kind of interesting to see how that might play into their um, behavior. They have not received anywhere near as much habituation uh, or conditioning as my, uh, as that dope means litter that I've been doing a lot of, uh, videos on. <clears throat> and just for a refresher, this is the mom. <laughs> yep. But we're going to put her back in her cage too, just because, uh, the mother's just so large. <clears throat> Alright, so what do we got going on here? <clears throat> well, a mouse that's fallen off, fallen off the platform right away. Um, I gotta be extra careful with these mice because I don't want them to dart. <laughs> and I feel like because they've had less conditioning, they are more apt to like bolt. I thought he was gonna bolt. He's not. He's okay. Um, yeah, so the mice that I'm going to be keeping is, this guy's the pick of the litter right here this little buddy here. And I already, I can't pick a name for his mother for some reason, but I've got a name picked out for him. Uh, he is going to be Pino. Um, and Pino is interesting because he's got a really nice, like, I don't know, like a apple head shape. Like a, and how they have apple headed chihuahuas. Um, he's got a nice uh, kind of pushed in face a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Um, But his face seems to be a little bit more, I don't know, shorter, wider or something. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what it is that's different about his face. Um, it definitely seems wider uh, <clears throat> and shorter, uh, shorter jaws and a wider skull are uh, features that you would see with the domestication syndrome. Um, and so although some uh, domestic animals are secondarily selected for those traits, a pushed in face and like a wider head, um, those are things that supposedly, apparently, come about just by selecting animals for tameness. Um, and so just by selecting animals for tameness, you, you tend to see, you know, smaller teeth, smaller jaws, a wider head, uh, ear changes. Um, but then what, what happens is that people select for these traits uh, secondarily as well, so that they'll also you know, we might think that's cute or whatever trait you're talking about. And then we'll select for that also. Um, so uh, when we see like pugs with the extreme pushed in face or maybe like a Persian cat, um, yes, that does happen with domestication. But um, that extremeness is because that was selected for secondarily. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is Pino. Pino's got a great temperament too. Yeah, that's right. Um, all of these guys seem to have great coats. Their coats are much thicker than dopamine's litter. Um, so, but Pino is definitely a keeper. I was a little concerned that he might have some sort of like condition, <laughs> uh, causing him to have this kind of, mm, I, I'm going to say like apple head sort of shape. Uh, but I don't think so anymore. He doesn't look that strange now. Uh, originally I was a little concerned that he might have like encephalitis, which is I'm not really sure what that is actually, I'd have to look it up, but I think it's like water on the brain due to, or maybe swelling of the brain due to some sort of infection, but it doesn't seem like he has that. Um, but initially I was concerned, uh, but he seems, he seems pretty normal now. Um, so yeah, him I'm keeping. Uh, there's a female in here somewhere, which I think might be this one right here. Yes, this is the female. So I'm keeping the female. Uh, keeping this guy, and then they were the only two I was going to keep, 
But then this guy back here, uh, he started developing and I was like, oh crap, I gotta keep him too. <laughs> he has super thick fur, uh, he's blue, and so I should be able to use him in uh, developing that light, I, I, I like that light silver, pink eyed silver color, and so I should be able to use him um, in developing that. And his, his coat seems so thick, it's just so much thicker than <laughs> dopamine's litter. Um, and he also seems to have some length too, which I was not expecting any length. And so you can see this guy here, smooth coat and short hair, right? Very smooth, very short and beautiful. These guys are beautiful. Uh, and so you can see that he definitely has both the curly jean, but he also seems to have some length. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to keep him. <laughs> and uh, it's tough because males can't live together. So you need to house the males separately uh, from each other. Uh, so yeah, but I think I'm going to keep both of them and, uh, Pino for his head shape, which I think this is, this one is Pino. It's hard to say. I think this one's Pino. Um, I'm going to keep him even though he doesn't have the head shape because he's got this really thick fur and he's got the curls, uh, which are both, he's blue. He's got the curls. That's everything that I'm looking for. Um, and the female, because she's female, she's the only female. Um, so but Pino and this guy here, which I don't have a name for yet, um, they they can live together until I breed them, so they'll probably be okay together. And another thing is, is even though these guys have, they're about like 6% wild, I think, um, they seem pretty tame. And at what day, I said it was day 17, so I wanna go back and look at dopamine's litter day 17 and see if they are as like docile <laughs> as these guys are right now because uh, I thought for sure they would be like going crazy right now. They do, they can go crazy, they can be very active, um, but they're, they're not super active. So I'm kind of surprised by that, especially considering they haven't had anywhere near the amount of exposure. My dog is like knocking something off the shelf. I said, hey, what's up? Um, they haven't had anywhere near the amount of conditioning or habituation to handling or to this light box and stuff as dopamine's litter. They've only been in the light box, what, twice now? This is, I think, their third time, maybe? Um, so, <clears throat> so yeah, it could be that just because they have some great genes from the show line mouse. Um, and also her ears, the mother's got great ears, so hopefully these guys, including Pino, will have some really good ears. Um, and I plan to breed the mother again. So this mother was, uh, this time the pairing was between, um, a mouse that I produced, which had a little bit of wild ancestry, uh, but had a great coat and I'm going to pair her again, but with an animal that doesn't have any wild ancestry, uh, but has a great coat. And then hopefully I'll be able to pick some females from there and breed them together again. And we'll be able to like augment some of those show line, um, genes while maintaining, some coat length, um, because I'm all about the coat length. I'm all about uh, having some, let me see if I can focus in on him, this little guy over here. He's like, he's just amazing, look at him just lay there too, he seems pretty calm, unless he's just like terrified. <laughs> he could just be like absolutely terrified right now. Um, and I thought that he was gonna, when I first put him up here, I thought he was gonna just bolt, but no bolting, um, and pretty, Pretty darn calm. Pretty darn calm from from everybody here. Um, I am very surprised that that's that's happening. But yeah, this, the 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 thickness on this fur is just amazing. So I that's something I have to keep. I can't I can't pass that up. <laughs> uh, but eventually, all of my mice will have these traits. Um, so yeah. Yeah, let me know if you have a name for the mother. I can't think of anything funny for some reason. And uh, so Pino's got a name. This is Pino, I think. Yes, this is Pino. And then uh, the a black female and this guy both need names too. And I don't have names picked out for anybody. Um, so yeah, don't fall off, little guy. You're gonna fall off. <laughs> no, he's like, no, I wanna fall off. Yeah, no, you can't fall off. Um, yeah, so, so that's that. 
Um, these other mice are beautiful too, but they are all male, and uh, I am sure they're going to be fine. Um, but they aren't the best of the litter. Which definitely this guy. Definitely Pino over here. Um, and the female again, she's kind of she's kind of middle of the road, uh, but at least she's half show. And um, I think uh, I forget which one's the female. I think this is this one here. Um, at least she's half show, and I'll be able to pair her to uh, some full domestic mice. And hopefully, you know, retain some of those show show traits. Like I said in my other video, like part of my strategy is to like just pair as many different mice, but continue to select for the same traits. So she's not. Generally, you want quality over quantity. Um. And she's not terrible, but um, but having her be in the population will allow me to select for more mice and kind of different pairings um, while continuing to select mice for the general traits that I want. So she's got some length. Where is she? She is... Uh, I, I have a hard time telling the other male and the female part. So she's either this one or this one. I think she's this one. Um, she's got some length uh, and she's got some nice thickness. Uh, not at the top of the line, but she's still pretty good. So it'd be nice to pair her and have those genes continue in my population. <laughs> yep. So yeah, we're gonna wrap that video, up, uh, this video up, and um, I will be checking in with these guys again in a few days, I think. Uh, and yeah. So let me know what you think. I, I like the color. What do you think of this color here? These guys are um, blue. I think they're blue. They might even have blue in like some sort of dilution gene, um, but I like it. I, the reason why I think I, they have some sort of dilution gene is that their bellies are white, uh, which makes me think that she has um, that they have like uh, some sort of sea locus, uh, like a Siamese, or they don't look Siamese, but like some sort of extreme dilution or something. Um, but anyways, don't forget to check out my website, MrMiceGuy.com. Check me out on Instagram, at MrMiceGuy, as well as uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you want to see more videos like this. And we will see you tomorrow.